bait trays. I'm using fish made wire, the carbon coated, 200 pounds. Basically, I'm just using a big gun there. 10 0. I'm using as big a hooks as possible. These are the new soy ringed hooks that I've used about three or four times already for catching a couple of sharks. Still good enough. I'm going to carry on using it. We're going to make a trace about 1.6 meters in length. So 1.6. I'm going to put that. Okay, the knot that we use is basically one of those that I've got absolutely no idea what the name is. So if you want to come in closer and have a look, what we do is we go in through the bottom. We then wrap it around the actual shank of the hook and we go through the opposite side. So it comes out like that. It's as simple as that. Then all we do is we just take the back part and pull it over the front. Grab your pliers. And we pull tight, so you can see there how it's actually pulling tight. Take our pliers and just tighten it up like that. Side cut is cut off the tag end. We now take our 30 no soy hook straight through the eye. Depending on the size of the bait that I'm going to be using, I'm going to put it quite close together. So about a little bit bigger, about that size. And then what I'm going to do is just wrap the wire, the 200 pound wire, around the arm. Once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. And then go through the eye from the top down. There we go. So from the top down. I'm just going to stick it back in the vise here quickly. Pull a bit tight and find myself a lighter. This is my lighter here. This is my lighter here. This is my lighter. There's my lighter. Thanks boys. Okay. Take your lighter and I'm going to lightly burn the wire. Or actually the actual plastic coating is more should be the right thing not the wire and there we go it's starting to melt ever so slightly there we go stop that there we go it's done okay so basically what I've got is a number one Kingfisher brass sleeve which I'm sliding onto my 200 pound wire and I'm going to make it about half okay take it around those pliers there it is there just as well I'm wearing glasses otherwise I wouldn't have seen what it, where it was and all we do is we crimp like that we then turn it Crimp that side of it, turn it again, and crimp the alternative side. <clears throat> okay, so basically that's what that crimp looks like. It's not going to move on the wire. Slide it down. Taking a little bit of heat shrink, sliding that down onto the actual trace and over the crimp over there. Take my lighter, even my lighter's gone, it is there, and just ever so lightly. There we go. Give it a couple of seconds to pull down. One plastic bead through the eye. My swivel. 
another bead. Okay, so that's basically your standard FMJ. Where it changes is now take one solid ring over there, as you can see. Slide one solid ring on, let it go all the way down to the bottom. Take a bit of heat shrink again. Slide that down. And another thicker piece of heat shrink. I'll show you what that's for later. So basically what I've got is I've got my sleeve, um, that solid ring, and that over there. I now take my second solid ring, put that on, and I tie a knot now. Basically the knot is very simple. It's a figure of eight, so all I'm going to do is just put my finger in there, turn it once, twice, turn it around and pull it out. There's my figure of eight. I'm just going to stick it into the vise here. And pull tight. Slide down. Just so that that knot over there pulls tight on itself, I give it a bit of a crimp. On this tag end, on this tag end, I don't cut it too close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a bit of extra wire there. Like that. I'm now going to take my heat shrink, slide that over all the way up, so basically my black one has gone over the loop and the white one or the clear one has gone over the actual knot. All that does is stops this knot from coming undone when the black fin's jumping and going crazy. Okay, take our lighter. Turn it around. And there it is there. Give it a couple of seconds just to dry. Cool down. And that's basically the heat shrink over that. So that knot's not going to move at all now. So there's our standard FMJ. Our standard FMJ. The only difference is I've got a solid ring over there that's going to run up and down. Okay? So I've got a solid ring that's going to run up and down. It's the only thing that's different so far. I'm now going to take again another 1.5 meters. And 5 meters. Now I'm attaching a little J clip to the solid ring. Let me just open it up a bit more. Murphy's Law, open it up. Okay, so there I've just opened it. One solid ring in it. Now I'm just going to close it again. Always easier in a vise. There 
being straight. It's almost 100% right. There we go. So basically there's the clip attached to it. Okay. Again, all I'm doing is tying a figure of eight. So let's do it. Once, twice, over, under, through. Just in the vice right. Slide all the way down. Okay, so there it is there. But before I do anything else, heat shrink. I'm just going to cut a piece off of it quickly. One, two pieces. I've cut it in two. I've then just taken some clear heat shrink. One, two pieces. Slow that down. Now, there's your FMJ. I'm just going to take this and slide it through that solid ring over there. And again, all I'm going to do is basically tie a figure of eight. One, two, over, under. Here's my figure of eight. Pull tight. Slide down. And this is the only tricky part of the whole thing, is to actually get this loop Okay, so all that it does is pull tight onto that solid ring. Very important that you get it to pull tight on the solid ring. There it is. I'm going to stick the solid ring into the vise. Solid ring's in. And we're just going to pull the knot tight. Go. The knot's pulled tight. I'm going to cut it off. Leave a bit of tag in like I always do. Over there. So that's basically what you want. There's the heat shrink again. And let it slide all the way down to the bottom. Okay, the black one goes over the actual tag end there. And I'm just going to quickly heat this one up. Take the clear one, slide that over the actual knot. And there's the knot. There you go. There's the, the clear one. Okay, so there's a clear one over the knot there. This piece, I'm going to do exactly the same. Tag in. What I must do is just pinch this knot so it doesn't move. There we go. 
Ach, man. Okay. Here's the black one going over the actual knot, like that. Grab the lighter. Okay, get the clear one, apply the clear one onto it. Clear one over the black, onto the actual knot, like that. Preferably do it where there's no air cons. Okay. Here we go. There's your black fin and raggy deluxe trace for catching your big black fin and your raggies. There they are, guys. They can't roll you off. The raggy can't roll you off. The black fin can't jump you off. There we go. That's how much wire you've now got to fish with. Basically what I've done is attached my sinker now. The sinker with the bait you would actually hook on like that or you could use a dangle, it's up to you. I'm just going to stand up here to show you the total length of this whole trace. And there we go guys, that is the entire length of your trace that you're going to throw. As you see it there with your bait on. Once it actually hits the water, that comes off, that comes off. And this whole thing drops down. There's your wire all the way along. So there's the entire length of the trace. Just one. Two. 2.6 meters. That's the entire length of this trace now. With wire. 2.6 meters.